Look at your covenant, O Lord, and forget not the life of your poor ones forever. Arise, O God, and defend your cause, and forget not the cries of those who seek you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I would like to welcome all of you during this Holy Eucharist. We are gathering to celebrate meeting with Jesus. And uh, as we probably remember, he usually and always says to us, do not be afraid, that fear shouldn't come into our heart to make this like disturbance, to make chaos. Uh, so we should cl come close to Jesus uh, without any fear because fear sometimes is a factor that we make mistakes, we sin. But uh, even though we should come close to Jesus, that he will have answer to our questions. I am praying during this whole Eucharist for late Maria Gian Gianetta, intention offered by uh, family. Let us prepare our hearts to receive Jesus into our life. You were sent to heal the country of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom, taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the in inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. When Elijah reached Horeb, the mountain of God, he came to a cave and spent the night there. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Go out and stand on the mountain before the Lord, and the Lord is about to pass by. Now there was a great wind, so strong it was splitting mountains and breaking rocks in pieces before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind, and after the wind an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake, and after the earthquake a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire, and after the fire, a sound of sheer silence. When Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord. Amen. Response will be, show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Please repeat. Show us love, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people. 
Surely his salvation is at the hand for those who fear him. Let his glory may dwell in our land. Your response? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground, and righteousness will look down from the sky. Response? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. The Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him, and will make a path for his steps. Your response? Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience confirms it is by the Holy Spirit. I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart, for I could wish that I myself were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are children of Israel, and to them belong the adoption, the glory, the covenants, and the giving of law, the worship, and the promises. To them belong the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, comes the Christ, who is over all. God be blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Immediately after feeding the crowd with the five loaves and two fish, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he dismisses the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but by this time the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning Jesus came walking toward them on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened and beginning to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear sisters and brothers, I was speaking about fear in an uh, introduction of this Eucharist, but we uh, heard in a psalm that surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him. So we have to distinguish these two type of fears uh, scriptures are talking to us. Uh, the one is beneficial to us is the gift of the Holy Spirit, 
fear of the Lord. And uh, it is not that we are afraid of our God, of Jesus, uh, but we have respect to him as to our parents. Uh, we are afraid to do something wrong. This is the fear which is a gift of the Holy Spirit. But what we are afraid of is this uh, tribulation and, and uh, like strong wind which was in a gospel. Uh, we are afraid of the sickness of plague, of uh, pandemic, of everything which is going around right now. But Jesus is telling us, do not be afraid of those things. Do not be afraid. You should respect God. We are, of course, in a right path to respect our Lord and respect elders and our parents and so on. Uh, this doesn't mean we are afraid of them. Uh, but we sometimes are afraid of something else. And Jesus is telling us, you shouldn't be afraid. And he is ex explaining us, like, mm, if we sometimes reflecting on this, what's ho happening right now, uh, is God is in pandemic, is God allowing this, so he causing this? And first reading should answer us. Elijah was about to meet God in a cave, and God uh, gave him, like, come out from the cave, and there was three things which are like disturbing. Uh, there was a, a great wind, which, which is connection to the gospel, but God was not in a wind. There was a, a breaking, uh, there was an earthquake and a fire, and God wasn't in such this uh, situation of happenings. God was in a like slight wind, in a silence of uh, whispering of the wind. God was there, not in this, uh, this, this disturbing situation which we, we can meet today. God was in the silence of our heart, and then we can meet God in the silence of our heart. And when Peter, in today's gospel, got out from the boat, he in faith believed in Jesus that he can seize the wind, that he can seize the sickness, pandemic. He can be over all of this what's happening. He don't have to be inside this happening, but he is still in power to seize everything. So when we are getting out of the boat, we are out of our like human being possibilities. It is not possible to walk on water. It is not possible not to sink. And Peter is an example that with Jesus is possible. That I, I am like fulfilling myself as a human being, but when I am out of the boat, I am out of my richness of human being possibilities. So, I am reaching to Jesus only when I started to walk on water. This is our faith. This is something we cannot touch. It is only Jesus. He can help us. So when we are focusing on, on Jesus, we are walking on water, we are walking in our faith, and it's, it's good. But when we f start to... Uh, putting fear into our heart, when we open our heart for something which, not, which is not Jesus, which is not faith, which is not God, then we are starting sinking. And uh, I already told this during the week because this gospel repeat itself during this week, that a boat is not sinking because of the water which surround it. Boat is still going its way. Boat is sinking because of water which is putting into the boat. So if we are watching the world right now, we know many things happen which is wrong, uh, many things, evil happenings. But if we are not putting this fear into our hearts, we will not sink. 
we will be still good condition and we will have our faith. If we will start putting fear into our hearts, then we are sinking. And even so, even if our weakness will reach us and if we, if we will be not uh, able to help ourselves, we can cry as Peter cried, Lord, save me, help me. This is the, the, the last call which we can do and Jesus is everywhere. Jesus is uh, close to us to help us. So we shouldn't be afraid to call to him, but uh, we should try not to put fear into our hearts first. The last call, call is to call him for help, but try not to put fear into your heart that your faith will be strong and steady to resist what is around us, not to sink. Please rise and let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Aware of God's quiet presence at work in our lives, we place our needs before him. For Pope Francis, successor of Peter, may God continue to bless him with good health and vitality. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may God graciously watch over them in their service to their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those sinking in the waters of pain or fear, may Christ the Divine Physician calm them and grant them peace of mind. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for all gathered here today, may the Holy Spirit help us more firmly embrace our faith in our loving God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those who have died, especially for Maria Gianetta, for whom this Mass is offered, and those from our families and parish community. May they be welcomed into the eternal life. God gives through his Son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For the victims of the explosions in Beirut, and for their families, and for Lebanon, so that through the dedication of all its social, political, and religious elements, it might face the extremely tragic and painful moment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Let us add any additional intentions in the silence of our Let us pray to the Lord. Loving God, hear our prayers as we seek to be the hands and feet of Jesus each day. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your Church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Pio, Saint Paul, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
communion and come. The bread that I will give, says the Lord, is my flesh for the life of the world. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Communion is a food nourishment for, the, for our life, and it should be a nourishment also to fight with our fears. Uh, it is not that we will not feel any emotions in a time of distress, but it is that we will not lose our faith in any situation. So let us receive this communion as a strength, as nourishment for that, this situation. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ.